Hello there. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is a bit of a different one because um, it's been really crap weather. Um, I thought I'd go over like what I wear for my winter riding. Given I only passed my CVT yeah, a month or so ago. Oh, it looks like it's gonna rain again. Yeah, given my own passed my CVT like a month ago, um, I have got only winter gear at the moment. So I've got these. Um, they, I, they, they, I don't know what they're. They're called Tech Speed. Tech Speed? Tech Speed? Tech Speed. Tech speed motorcycle apparel. Just there. Um, so these are good. They've got like a little reflective bits, uh, all like high vis bits here, reflective bits all uh, around this bit here on the back as well. It's got pockets. So you've got one pocket there, you've got one pocket there, you've got. Uh, I can only assume this is to attach and detach something else. Um, you've got pockets at the front as well. Uh, which is really good. Got one there and one there. Um, got knee protection, which is obviously essential. Um, really good. It's got like a nice um, quilted thermal liner stuff in it that's removable as well. Um, I, I really love these. I've worn them out riding now uh, twice, I think. I think I've worn them out twice. Um, before I was just riding in jeans and I mean I didn't really like wearing just jeans because number one it's a bit, getting a bit colder this time of year and number two it doesn't offer that much protection in terms of if I was to come off and hurt myself. So my jacket I wear is a Risha jacket, Risha, Risha, however you want to say it. I've got one of those, uh, black jacket, it's got like reflective bits on here, here, um, so it's really good, it's got like the, the shoulder. Uh, an arm protection on it, which is good, um, which I really love. Um, I got this, actually got this second hand off uh, Facebook Marketplace for 30 quid. As I thought, I don't want to go spending 150, 200 pound on a jacket to do my CVT in if I didn't actually like it. And it turns out it's actually a, a really nice jacket and I actually really do like it. It's got, like, got like a couple of uh, pockets on it. Um, Got air vents on it as well for like in the summer you can open these up um, and it breathes cool air into it so it's not not strictly just a winter jacket but you could use it in the uh, in the, the summer as well I'll probably I'll probably give it a go and see how it how it gets on so the thermal lining isn't as padded as the trousers but you can see it's got a thermal like line in there as well which is removable as well you can see the the zip just there which is really good i absolutely love that next up gloves um when i picked up my when i done my cbt the gloves i wore then which were my summer ones uh, they were absolutely perfectly fine i i loved them did i didn't get cold hands or anything like that and then took about two three weeks later i picked up my brand new honda cb125f um rode home from the dealership to my house, it was about 16 to 18 miles, something like that. And I could feel the cold in my hands. It was so chilly, just on like the inside pieces here. So after that, I was like, I need to get some, some form of like winter gloves. I did buy some from a car boot sale previously, but I can't seem to remember where I've put them. And I have a feeling they were gonna be a little bit too thick to be able to ride in. So I went over to J&S Accessories um, I had a look what they've got there. Again, I didn't want to go spending loads of money in case I use it for this year and come summer I go, nah, I don't like riding road bike or whatever, which I mean, I can't see myself doing, but. Um, so I've got these, these are Akito Typhoons. I think they are JNS Accessories, uh, like own brand gloves. Um, they've got like a, a leather, Leather bit here, um, there as well. Got like a carbon fiber knuckle protector, just there. Um, so it's a really good, really good glove. Um, it has like a reflective piecing all the way down here, which is which is good. Um, so what I do is I put my jacket on and then put 
undo this, put this over the jacket sleeve. So then if I get any rain coming on my hand arm, it's not gonna go into my glove or into my jacket. Um, uh, and then you've got, do that up on that bit there. And then you've got like the, the wrist support bit here. And then you can tighten this bit up around your actual wrist bit. So it's tight here, but still tight here as well. But this is like the main support bit. So if I was to then try and like pull that off, it's it's not gonna come off. Obviously, unless I pull really, really hard, hard look, it still doesn't come off. Loosen it off. See, excellent. Absolutely love these gloves. They're not too thick, which I, was getting really worried about having really thick gloves to ride my first bike with. Um, I didn't want to like feel like I'm not knowing what I'm touching and doing. So those gloves are ap those gloves are absolutely incredible. And I love them. And finally, apart from like base layers and things like that, just obviously making sure you're warm, putting like thick socks on and things like that. I don't have like heated gloves or grips or anything because they're too expensive for me at the moment. I'm, it's just not something I'm looking into doing. The final thing is a balaclava. I I didn't even think about this uh, until I picked up my motorbike from the dealership and rode it home and realized how cold my face was just from like the windshield. Like I was getting cold nose and cold lips. Obviously visor down and things like that. It prevents as much of it as it can. Um, so I bought this balaclava. It's like a, like a synthetic, you know, see how if I stretch it out, you can see how, well, crap it is really. I brought that, went out with that once, and I was like, you know what, I, I don't like that. That's, it's not good enough. Um, it's just not keeping me warm enough. Um, and in the end, I've gone out and got this one. Got this off Amazon. It's got like a breathable, like, nose piece here. Um, obviously, you can see the holes in it, but it keeps your nose warm, but allows you to breathe as well. Um, doesn't make your, your mouth and that all hot and steamy and clammy. Um, so this is really good. Like it's massive as well. So it comes all the way down to like your neck so you can tuck it into your jacket. So you then you don't get that like wind chill on your neck and things like that. That's really good. And do a demonstration. So it's like that. So that the, the open hole bit here is very, very small here. You see what I mean by the nose bit as well? It allows your nose to breathe, but it also keeps it warm as well, which is what I wanted. And it was like essential for me buying uh, balaclava. Oh, footwear as well. I've got these. Um, these aren't what I use for riding, but I've got the exact same pair, but in uh, black. These are Vans MTEs. Uh, made for the elements they're really thick got really nice thick soles on it they're not like proper riding boots but they're tough rugged uh, these one uh, these are levers uh leather pair uh, they're, they're not motorbike official but they're good enough for me to keep my feet warm um i like them they're comfy to ride in so i hope you've enjoyed my winter gear winter riding gear video um, if you have, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be uploading tons of videos um, coming up. I've really look, got so much motivation for recording videos uh, about my motorbike, um, things like that. And again, I still need to like dive into doing my Mark III uh, and Mark II. So that's like two different series of videos that I want to record and put out, um, which would be really good. Just not keen on doing it in the gold. But um, also gonna have a little video of this as well. This is like a GoPro. It's like a GoPro mount for the, the handlebar, so I can like point it at me. So like different point of view riding. Um, yeah, I've got I've got that to fit. Um, I've also got the uh, whole cord lock thing. I'm gonna do a video on that as well. Like unboxing, setting up, putting on my bike, going out for a ride, giving it a test, all the good stuff like that. So if you've enjoyed this video, please stick around. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one.